Should we separate the art from the artist? On his 2016 single, False Prophets, J. Cole says, There was a time when this nigga was my hero, maybe. That's the reason why his fall from grace is hard to take. Cause I believed him when he said his shit was pure, ain't he? The type of nigga swear he real, but all around us fake. The women, the dick riders, you know the yes men. Nobody with the balls to say something to contest them. So he grows out of control. Until the person that he truly was all along is starting to show them. In reference to legendary artist Kanye West, J. Cole did indeed prophesize his ensuing downfall. Four albums and several anti-Semitic comments later, Kanye seems to have fallen off, which is putting it lightly. But after all the hate speech, meltdowns, and extremist political endorsements, can we still listen to his music? All things considered, Ye's work, including at least 10 albums, landmark features, and hundreds of songs he produced for, have already made their mark on the musical landscape and the culture at large. After all, in that same single, J. Cole later says, his old shit, no, he won't stop it. So the simple answer would be, yeah, sure. How could you ignore the art that has potential to save people because of that one person? But I think it's more complicated than that. Let's take the film industry for example. Many of the directors with the largest platforms and most successful big budget movies are not good people. Brian Singer, you known abuser of children, has had hand in directing most of Marvel's X-Men films and the box office hit Bohemian Rhapsody. Arguably the biggest case is producer Harvey Weinstein, whose crimes I don't even have to mention, and who produced many successful projects at Miramax. But with film, we have hundreds of people working on a single project. Actors, crew members, production designers, extras, gaffers, writers, VFX artists, you name it. When watching one of these movies, although influenced by a horrible human being, is still in support of these hundreds of other artists. But music, that's different. As a medium, music, especially the music at the center of the current culture, hinges on the artist that puts it out. That image that is associated with the person behind the art is at the forefront of it. As a result, it's hard to separate the art from the artist. But what if you don't have to? Like I said earlier, said music still has the chance to impact people and save lives. But does that overweigh the negative impact the artist has had? I would argue not. But it's also not worth ignoring said issue or impact to enjoy the music. So my answer's simple. Listen to the music that'll impact you, but also keep in mind the impact that a person has had, positive or negative.